Or we could also say heart, but it's basically the same idea. It's your, it's your mind, will, emotions, and volition. How you will yourself to do things, where your will to act comes from. So, just like down here when it says you must teach your children... Uh, these com commandments I'm commanding you to, these words I'm commanding you to, they must be kept in mind. That means it must be on your heart, is what it says in Hebrew, but it's the same idea. Keep them in your mind, keep them in your, you know, your will, these ways of uh, acting out in the world, in these themes. Love learning Jewish stuff. Just make connection about how someone was uh, to be on vigil during the first night of Passover and how Jesus asked disciples to keep vigil. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. Keep watch, keep watch, keep watch. Keep vigilant. So, um, let's go back. Let's do this since it's always short. Uh, it's not always short. I, I go, I, I expand it because I'm always looking for context. Uh, 419. An expert searcher. For, the, for for thou says <laughs> for thus says the Lord God, behold, I even I will both search my sheep and seek them out. Ooh, obey what I'm commanding you this day. I'm going to drive them out before the Amorite. Well, hold on, how is that? Must be a different. That's interesting. What's happening here? Exodus 34, 11. I'm going to look up this. Uh... Is it off? Ezekiel, see? Not Exodus, guys. They messed it up. Weird typo. Ezekiel 34, 11. I was about to say, that didn't sound like language from, uh, from that. Here we go. This is the Sovereign Lord says, Look, I myself will search for my sheep and seek them out. <sighs> Why did they have to give me Ezekiel 34? Now I have to talk about this. Just kidding. I'm not like down about it. It's just so heavy and awesome. I knew it. John, yeah, John 10. If you don't read John 10 and Luke 30 and, and uh, Ezekiel 34 side by side, you are missing out. You are missing out. John 10. What am I doing? We're going to go back here. Okay. This is a cool, 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 cool. Jesus is the good shepherd. Later, he's called the great shepherd because we have other good shepherds called pastors because pastors shepherd. Look at all this. I am the door. Thief comes, right? We all know I am the good shepherd. The sh good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. The hired hand, who is not a shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and abandons the sheep right away. So the wolf attacks and the sheep, the sh sheep, and they scatter, and he scatters them because he is hired hand and not concerned about the sheep, he runs away. I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know my Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that don't come from the sheepfold, <clears throat> the nations of the world. I must bring them too, and they will listen to my voice so that there will be one flock and one shepherd. One flock and one shepherd. Hallelujah. This is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life so that I may take it back up again. No one takes his life. He lays it down. No one takes it away from me, but I lay it down of my own free will. I have the authority to lay it down, and I have, I have the authority to take it back up. This commandment I received from my father. Another sharp division. See, this is why does another sharp division take place among the Jewish people because of these words? Hmm? And they're divided. He's possessed by a demon. This guy's lost his mind. He's talking like he's God. It's basically what they're saying. Why? They're not words. Someone possessed by a demon. A demon cannot cause the blind to see. They're saying, look at his works. That's even what Jesus says. Even if you don't believe what I'm saying, believe what I do. Okay? This is John 10. Ezekiel 34. Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Who are the shepherds of it? The hired shepherds of Israel? 
the priests and the Levites at the time prophesy and say to them, to the shepherds, this is what the sovereign Lord says. Woe to the shepherds of Israel who have been feeding themselves. Should not shepherds feed the flock? You eat the fat, you close yourselves with the wool, you slaughter the choice animals, but you don't feed the sheep. You have not strengthened the weak, healed the sick, bandaged the injured, brought back the strays, or sought the lost, but with force and harshness you have ruled over them. They were scattered. I wonder what Jesus is referencing to. They were scattered because they had no shepherd. Yo, Hufflepuff, it's Joy, welcome in. Snoop Dogg. Da 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 da. Ya da 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 da. They were scattered because they had no shepherd and they became food for every wild beast. Tell me Jesus isn't directly pointing this out. He's, Ezekiel is talking here against the shepherds at the time, the hired hand shepherds of Israel, the leaders of Israel that were in Ezekiel. He's, he's literally comparing the, the rulers who, who were doing bad things that got Israel exiled from the land with the, with the, with the ruling elite of that day, mostly Sadducees in the first century. This is crazy to me. What's up, Melvis? Oh, cool. Yo, what up, Melvis? How you doing, brother? What's up, Walleye? So this is crazy. My sheep wandered over all the mountains and over every high hill. My sheep were scattered over the entire face of the earth with no one looking or searching for them. Okay. In other words, these guys are fattening themselves up. The shepherds are feeding themselves. They're not taking care of the sheep. How relevant is that to John 10? Jesus talking against the Jewish leaders of the time. My sheep wandered over the mountains. They're just wandering. They're lost. Therefore, you shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. As surely as I live, okay? As surely as I live, declares the Lord, the sovereign Lord. My sheep have become prey and have become food for all the wild beasts. There was no shepherd. And my shepherds did not search for my flock, but fed themselves and did not feed my sheep. Therefore... Hear this, you shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the sovereign se Lord says. Look, I am against the shepherds, and I will demand my sheep from their hand. I will no longer let them be shepherds. The shepherds will not feed themselves anymore. I will rescue my sheep from their mouth so that they will no longer be food for them. And here we go. For this is what the Lord says. Look, I myself, this is the verse that we're literally studying in this. No one's looking for him, right? No one cares. Or at least if they do, they only care about what, them, what they can get recognition for doing for the sheep, right? I'm a good shepherd. I could do what I want. No, good shepherd actually lays his life down for the sheep, as this says. As the shepherd seeks out his flock, when he is among his scattered sheep, for this is the sovereign Lord, I will look, I, look, I myself will search for my sheep and seek them out. That's the verse for today on this devotional. As a shepherd seeks out his flock, and when he is among his scattered sheep, so I will seek out my flock. I will rescue them. Oh, what is this word, rescue? Hmm, I wonder what this word rescue is. I will deliver. Not Saul. Okay. It's not Yesha, which is, comes the word from Yeshua. I will not Saul. I will deliver them from the places which they are scattered. I will rescue them from the places where they're scattered on a cloudy, dark day. I will bring them out from among the people and gather them from foreign countries. The diaspora. This is before they were scattered into the world, too, or at least around the time they were being scattered in Ezekiel. I bring them from among the people and gather them from foreign countries. I will bring them to their own land. I will feed them on the mountains of Israel by the streams of all inhabited places of the land. In a good pasture, I will feed them. The mountain, the mountain heights of the Israel will be their pasture. They will lie down in a lush pasture. They will feed on rich grass of the mountain Israel of Israel. I myself will feed my sheep, and I myself will make them lie down, declares the Lord. I will seek the lost and bring back the strays. I will bandage the injured and strengthen the sick, but the fat and the strong I'll destroy. I'll feed them with judgment. <laughs> that is gangster right there. Sorry, that's the best way you can say it. Of course he is. I mean, yeah, right? I'm, here's the thing, uh, flat cap dappa pasta. And you know this probably. Um, prophecy is not linear. Right? It does like, uh, it says it's going to happen. It happened. Okay, done. It's cyclical. In a Jewish mind, and the writers of the Bible, and even the New Testament writers, prophecy is cyclical. 
And there is an ultimate kind of like end times idea of this. And Jesus, when he came, kind of really brought this fulfillment because he said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be the shepherd. You're messing up. You're the leaders aren't doing it. So I'm going to be the sheep. But here, let's li- this is the point of this whole thing. He's saying, the Lord himself is saying, as for you, my sheep, this is what the sovereign Lord says. Look, I'm about to judge between one sheep and another, between rams and goats. Oh, where's that? Where did Jesus in the New Testament say division between the goats and the sheep, rams and the goats, right? Huh? Plenty of times. It's not enough for you to feed on the good pasture, that you must trample the rest of your pasture with your feet. When you drink clean water, you must, must you muddy the rest of the water by trampling it with your feet? As for my sheep, they will eat what you trampled with your feet and drink what you have muddied with your feet. Therefore, this is what the sovereign Lord says to them. Look, I myself will judge between the fat sheep and the lean sheep. Because you push with your side and your shoulder and thrust your horns and all the weak sheep until you scatter them abroad. So he's even calling the fat sheep the, pa- the shepherds at the same time. This is the thing. He, I will set one shepherd over them. Okay, here's the key. I will set one shepherd over them and he will feed them, namely my servant David. Guys, David, the literal David, is dead right now in Ezekiel. He has long passed away. He died. Okay, he's talking about the branch. He's talking about the messianic prophecy. What's up, Jay? He's talking about a... uh, The the Messiah is going to be the Lord, is what it's saying in here. The Lord is going to be the one who does all these things. So... Namely, my servant David. They knew these things by heart, by the way, guys. They knew these things by memory. He will feed them and be their shepherd, and I, the Lord, will be their God, and my servant David will be the prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken. I will make a covenant of peace with them, and I will rid the land of wild beasts so that they can live securely in the wilderness and even sleep in the woods. This is, if you read, you can't read John 10 without reading Ezekiel 34. The good shepherd. So guess what? When Jesus comes in here and he says, I tell you the truth, Right? Right? Thief and a robber, if you come in any way but the door, the one who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Right? He goes ahead of them. The sheep follow because they recognize his voice. Right? They're not going to follow a stranger. I am the door. Right? And he says, I am the good shepherd. The shepherd, good shepherd, lays down his life for his sheep. The hired hand doesn't. Who's the hired hand? The same people in Ezekiel 34 who are getting fat and not caring about the people. You eat the fat, you close yourself, you slaughter the choice animals, but you don't feed the sheep. So when Jesus is here saying, I'm the good shepherd, it's because in 34, God said, okay, all these man, you know, all these human shepherds that I've let have, you know, uh, authority over the Israel, over his sheep, we're doing all these bad things. So God's like, fine, I'll do it, right? I will bring them from among the people and gather them in a good pasture. I'll feed them. I myself will feed the sheep and I myself will make them lie down. And Jesus is saying, I'm the good shepherd. I do these things, you're hired hands. He's essentially, look, Jesus asserts his deity. At least the NET has it in here. He was asserting his deity before that, right? Jesus asserts his deity. Oh, no, he's asserting his deity right here, too, because he's saying, because the Lord said, I'll be, I will be the shepherd of Israel, and Jesus is going, I'm that shepherd. I am the Lord. I am his servant David, the Messiah. Hallelujah. Hey, what's up? How you doing, Eugene? How you doing, Eugene? Welcome in. Where's Walleye? What do you mean? <laughs> Where's Waldo? Oh no, Melvis. Sorry, Melvis. I switched it up in my head. What up, Melvis? <laughs> I want Walleye in here, though, for sure. Followers of Yeshua. Yeah, thanks for correcting that, Hufflepuff. I was just on a, t- a tangent, so I kind of, my mind kind of short circuited, went straight to Walleye for some reason. But good to see you. So this is. A, Again, I told you, this is going to be short. It's all good. It's all good, Melvis. I'm just going over Jesus talking about um, to the Jewish leaders, telling them that they're messing up, just like God told them in the Old Testament with the prophets, right? But Jesus is bringing this up. 
So Jesus is declaring what God said he would do for his own sheep. Sheep, the people of Israel. God always talks about the people of Israel and his people as a flock. Okay, so that's a cool point about what what this context is. It's one of my favorite things. If you ever read John 10, you must read John uh, uh, Ezekiel 34. And they misquoted this. They put Exodus, it's really Ezekiel. This is he, this is the devotional, and it's a little old-timey because it's like 1892. Breaking news, commenting my Protestant service attendance, my Eastern Orthodox Christian mother, who knows of the Bible reading, said that I am interested in rubbish. Mm. Here you go, Eugene. This is a good verse for you to tell her. Okay? 